Okay, so this is a quick demo of Civil's AI. So straight away when you get logged in, you'll see a list of the different construction projects that you've created and you've uh, added data to. You can add a new project with this button up here. I'm just going to open up a project uh, based on the Burj Khalifa. So this is some open source data that we've added in here. You can drag and drop PDFs or construction files into this digitizer here. You can also connect us into Autodesk uh, and Procore, some of the construction software that's used on projects to pull do uh, documents in automatically. Once you have some documents added, um, they'll all be available in here. This is just a trial project, so I've only got three files added, but I'll just show you one quickly. Uh, so this is a PDF, uh, one of the PDFs that have been uploaded. So this is quite a nice one since the text, you can copy and paste it, but Actually, we can read scanned documents and handwritten documents. We also read tables and some of the charts and figures from these. Um, and then once they're in here, we organize them, we sort them. So you'll have different categories up here. We identify what type of document it is and sort them all for, for the user. Um, then back in here, I can actually start to search through the documents and find some construction information. Uh, we have the search history here. So these are some questions I've already asked. But here I'm going to ask a question, um, create a table of the pile test results. So this is going to, this question, this is like for some foundation, pile foundations they hammer in. And uh, it's going to search through the documents. It could be thousands of documents on this project and generate a table. Then I can click the uh, citation here. So this is going to open up the document and show you where the table came from. So here it is. I can actually create some advanced task here. So I can say uh, using the pile load test results, list any piles with a maximum settlement uh, over 20 millimeters. So the idea here is I'm fetching information from the documents and performing some task. After this task is complete, again, I can see it's come from this table. And the idea here is I can actually filter some, uh, in, in this case, there might be a trigger level on the construction project where they have to stop if this, uh, if this is greater than 20 millimeters. So here I can search all the documents, find if there's some limit that's required in a contract or a specification and check it basically. We also have extra features in terms of organizing all the project documents. So um, in particular for these geotechnical files, which we process a lot of. So this project has got 460 uh, documents associated with it. Uh, with these files, we can actually read out more data. We, we read out some of these complex tables. Um, and the idea here is if I show you some example, this is one of the tables we'll read information off of. We have some machine learning algorithm that reads, uh, identifies columns and reads key data off and organizes it. So each of these files has um, extracted data, which is telling you what's under the ground in this case. And we also read it into or write it into Excel files automatically and some other construction files. And I can click uh, this point and it'll take us over to a map. So you can basically see where all of these, um, these are basically drill it, drilled holes showing you what's under the ground. It's very useful data on construction projects. So we can gather all this from PDFs automatically.